Hi guys, I can't fix my car. I've spent the last two days underneath it, my hands are filthy. I can't get the oil from underneath my nails. Anyway, I need to look for a car that goes because I went to get cat food last night and uh, uh, my car just stopped in the middle of the road and wouldn't go. Um, much to the disgust of fellow road users. So the problem is the price of cars here in Cyprus is absolutely insane. I mean totally insane. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Let's pick a price. Uh, 2000 to let's say 4000 I don't have that money. <laughs> but let's just say I did. Come on. This is bazaraki.com. Uh, you can buy you can buy anything on this. I mean anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's have a look through. <coughs> so there you go for a start. Four thousand euros for a two thousand and four Mercedes C Class. One hundred and seventy six thousand kilometers. It's in Nicosia. Who knows uh, what little treasures hide under that bonnet? BMW 3 Series, 147,000 kilometers. Probably since its last engine change. 2003. Soft top. It's from a dealer. Another one from a dealer. Honda CRV 2002. More miles on it than the Starship Enterprise. Uh, that must be the ugliest looking car I've ever seen in my whole life. 3,800 euro for a Beetle from 1973. Personally, I'd rather walk. I think I, I can set... Uh, I can set... Oh yeah. I can set the distance. So I'm just interested in local vehicles because I'm going to have to walk. Oh, I don't know what this is doing. Oh, I'm having terrible trouble with the internet. It's, it's just awful. It really is. We pay good money for this internet every month and it's just shockingly bad. It seems everything we try and do is just thwarted by the internet. So I've been uh, I've been trying to fix my car. I've removed every valve that I could find and cleaned them because the symptoms that the car's displaying is kind of synonymous with a sticking valve specifically an EGR valve exhaust gas recirculation valve or a PCV valve positive crankshaft ventilation valve I can get to the PCV valve relatively easily but the EGR valve is a different story there's also uh, there's also a system on the car that vents unburnt fuel back to the tank 
the fuel tank. I don't remember offhand what that's called. EVAP, Evaporative Emissions System. And I completely disconnected that. And and did some other jiggery pokery where I removed the vacuum pipes and um, reversed them but it's still doing exactly the same thing what is this? what is this? and no codes there's no fault codes stored in the ECU so I don't know, maybe the ECU's faulty? I don't know. All I do know is I spent 1500 euros at a local garage to have my car fixed. And it came back worse than it went in. Look at this, 2000 euros for a Honda Accord from 1998. That's 26 years old, people. 26 years old now cars don't rust here not in the lowlands anyway they may do in the mountains they don't use salt on the roads so the cars don't rust in the mountains it might be different so I'm not a happy bunny right now. The golfs I know I know a lot about golfs. I've got all the software. So a Golf would be a front runner probably, but I just sold a 2003 Volkswagen Golf 1.6 for 500 euros because it was toast. Everything was beyond its uh, sell by date. Every uh, component was cream crackered so I won't be looking at that for sure these Audis and BMWs have been have probably been the property of boy racers um, you'll be lucky if you find one who is just a keep up with the Joneses kind of gal and wanted a flash car but uh, generally speaking they'll be thrashed to absolute bits not taken care of most of them won't even have been topped up with the recommended lubricants or uh, fluids so everything rusts from the inside out and the number one killer of cars here in Cyprus is rust from the cooling system where people just fill the cooling system with water from the tap they don't investigate the cause of the leak they just keep filling it up with water from the tap until there isn't any coolant left in the car anymore it's just tap water and uh, the tap water here is extremely corrosive and it destroys 300,000 300,000 miles my god man. yeah the tap water destroys the engine and all of the cooling components from the inside out so the leaks just get worse and worse and worse until you're on the highway and uh, boom I don't want another Ford because they're absolutely ridiculous to try and work on 
and uh, they're just made out of coke cans they're absolute rubbish so anyway guys I think you can see the kind of prices what you have to pay for garbage garbage vehicles vehicles that are basically scrap they're beyond their they're beyond their life but everyone attracts uh, everyone expects a huge value to their vehicles here because it's an island everything's imported these cars were all generally imported from the UK but all that stopped since Brexit I don't think you're allowed to import cars from the UK anymore unless they are uh, under three years old so that market's been completely squashed so thanks very much guys for sharing in my pain uh, I'm sorry the channel's been a little bit up and down recently but uh, I've had bigger fish to fry more problems every day more problems thanks bye